Good day, fellow investors. Today we're going to start with an overview of 11 5G stocks. We're going to look at what is their 5G promise, what am I buying now if I buy that stock? So let's leave the promises to promises. Let's see what's the actual value now. We're going to look at what happened in the past and their valuations. So let's start immediately with the valuation part. So we have 11 companies. We look at the CAPE ratios, American Tower Corporation, 103 CAPE ratio. Okay, that's a read. So CAPE ratio goes out of the window. Forward yield is just 2%. Price to sales 9.44. Price earnings is higher, but we have to look at the price to cash flows as always. AMD 28.27, Nokia 33, Qualcomm 23, Cisco 28, Ericsson 48K ratio, 176.19.10K ratio, that's the lowest, so that's a company that has been producing well over the past. Then 28 and 181, which means there are huge differences between earnings, earnings power, past production, past earnings power and future promises. There are growth stocks and there are value stocks in the 5G environment. What is better for you? There are also some dividends of 12% and some with no dividends. Let's start with the companies. Let's start with an overview. Let's start with American Tower Corporation. They are leasing space on communication sites. So they are towers to wireless providers, radio and television broadcast companies, data providers, government agency, muni municipalities and other tenants. They have mostly US but they are also operating Latin America, Asia and Europe, Middle East and Africa. They are growing rapidly, organic tenant billing growth average over 6.5% per year Depending on the area, it's a little bit volatile, but given the 5G promise is that they will need more antennas, more towers to put everything on, then it's a really positive thing for this company. They are deploying most their capital in acquisitions, which means they are acquiring towers at these prices, discretionary capex, and they are paying some dividends. If they would put all their capital into dividends, the dividend yield would be 8%. So that's something to think about. The 5G promise higher demand for infrastructure to ensure adequate coverage and capacity. Strong organic growth in key markets, US, Mexico, Brazil. Temporary elevated churn in India expected to give way to more favorable structural framework and return to stronger growth in 2020 and beyond. So growth from the future when the 5G trend comes. Forward price earnings ratio 45, dividend yield 2%. So there has been growth. However, that growth, I think it will be leveraged. Market cap is already 65 billion on sales of 7 billion. So if you're interested in something like this, be, your, be my guest and look deeper into it. Advanced Micro Devices is a semiconductor company. They operate microprocessors, graphics markets, enterprise embedded and semi-custom markets. 10,000 different patents worldwide. They hope to grow on automotive inference, machine learning, data centers, 5G, whatever. They have their server platforms growing constantly, hoping to grow constantly, earnings per share are there, capital structure, cash and debt continue to reduce debt and their net debt is actually negative. The price earnings ratio however isn't cheap, 41 forward 60 is the current, so there is expected growth, the market is pricing in more growth in the future, but the growth hasn't really been there in the past except for turning from a lot of losses into a lot of into a bit of positives and hopefully these positives will turn around in more positives but you are here really investing on hopes 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 so that's not my kind of investment nokia is another very interesting company i made a full video on it a few months back so they changed from their brick phones to something you missed on the smartphone technologies but they are ultra broadband networks, IP networks, global services, and they're really pushing 5G as a package in what they do. The promise is developing 5G cloud and transport hardware. The hardware is used for in the internet of things, self-driving cars and manufacturing applications. 
Here the forward consensus P ratio is 18.87. There are some estimations that this will go even lower as 5G gets implemented. Over the past years earnings have been volatile but they will stay volatile with Nokia. I think if you can catch a positive earnings trend then the stock might reward you. The dividend however is there, the cash flow is there so an okay investment for the long term and also for those who want 5G exposure. Qualcomm is another leader in the development of significant technologies, internet of things, car uh, connectivity, networking, everything related also to 5G where 5G is key. Unfortunately the NXP acquisition didn't go through so they will lose on that auto development technologies perhaps that will change but they are really focusing on 5G growth as a key for their strategy. The fundamentals are there, the cash is at 36 billion, they, they wanted to buy NXP, the debt is also there but okay, revenues are strong, net income is strong, cash flow is extremely strong, stock repurchase program of 30 billion authorized by end of 2019. So a very very positive company, I missed it twice at 50. But okay, the yield is there, the forward price earnings ratio is low. This, this is something that really gives you exposure at a fair price. And if we look at what has been going on in the past, also earnings have been growing steadily, have been strong, the CAPE ratio is there, the cash flows are there. This looks like a good, good, good company to own for the long term and to get exposure. Something that I have to dig deeper in Qualcomm is definitely one that I will make an in-detailed analysis. Cisco another company that has various revenues. The 5G promise is of course hardware and network transformation projects to support 5G. The cash flow is extremely positive over the last three years, constantly growing and the forward price earnings ratio isn't even that high. Growth in revenue isn't that fast but net income slowly, a little bit volatile, is growing, the dividends are growing so Again, something to look into as the dividend yield is attractive at 3%. Ericsson, a very high CAPE ratio, but then something similar to Nokia, Nokia competing with Nokia with their services. Very high forward price earnings ratio, that's because they had some losses, probably some impairments in the past. However, the dividend yield is there, 1.6 to 26% could be much higher if Ericsson returns to what it was in the Best. So another company to look at despite the temporary issues. Unit group, Unity Group, another REIT constructing critical infrastructure, their own 5.4 million fiber strand miles, 707 wireless towers and other commercial real estate through the US and Latin America. Revenue has been growing, adjusted fun, funds from operations have also been growing, that's what you watch in a REIT. So another 5G play. The 5G promise of course fiber, tower and small cell demand continues to grow, lease up, unity leasing is growing steadily. So another growth stock, the yield is 12% which is huge, that has to be seen if that is sustainable over the long term. Book value is negative but this is another REIT that one has to really take from a REIT perspective and look at okay what will be the long term cash flows here. Another company to check from the 12% dividend yield. Corning is a company that makes optical communications, growing net sales over the past, they make display technologies, the forward price earnings ratio is market average, the forward dividend yield is 2.20 so another okay company to look at the 5G promise is again strong demand for fiber. Seragon is the leading provider of wireless backhaul solutions to mobile operators and mo private networks globally. The solutions have been adopted by many many companies around the world so it's the best of breed in the segment. Net revenue has been stable, net income has been growing, the 5G promise takeover of a major player because of the low market capitalization and the important technology. No yield, Price earnings ratio is okay for the market. Amdocs providing software and services for more than 350 
communications, pay TV, entertainment and media industry server, server providers. 5G promise, network monetization, 5G, new industry standards, more software selling to companies. Zio provides communication infrastructure services, including fiber, bandwidth, connectivity, collocation. The primary consumers, customer segments are data centers, wireless carriers, national carriers, internet service providers. The 5G promise is mobile data traffic will grow and compound annual growth rate of 47% in the next five years. IP traffic will grow at 24% and that is the bet. It's a clear growth stocks price earnings ratio 150 forward 75. If they continue to grow like that over the next few years, it will be a price earnings ratio of 10 and the stock will probably grow higher. So just an overview over of 5G. I'm a value investor, so I'm a little bit skeptical in investing in those growth stocks on those promises. And then I also require high rates of returns. So I like to buy value already there, not promises. But nevertheless, quality is quality. And I might look at two companies, I think, from this. I've already looked at Nokia. I have to look at then at Qualcomm and that Unity. And the growth stories, I will have to leave it to growth stories because I'm not a technology growth investor. I will stick to value and find where value is. If you want to read the detailed reports I'll make on a few 5G companies, please subscribe to my stock market research platform well, where I share all my detailed reports and risk reward investment analysis. Thank you for watching. Hope you found some interesting 5G ideas and I'll see you in the next video.